Um, we're going to move on to macro knobs now. So uh, let me sh show the devices real quick as well. So now this is showing both of these again. So these um, macro knobs, like I said, allow you to control multiple knobs. So um, for example, let's say I want to set decay time on the reverb as well as feedback on the simple delay to just be controlled by one knob. And the way you do that is you click on map mode and you will see these green boxes appear on each of the perimeters here on this reverb effect. And you just simply right click on the decay time and you click on map to macro one. And for the delay, you're gonna select it in your device chain here. And you're gonna right click on feedback and hit map to decay time. That's what it's called now. It's not going to overwrite the decay time on the reverb. It'll actually do it to both. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. So I'll click this here and you can see the little gray box that says macro one. That means that this macro one knob is assigned to this button. If I go back to reverb, same thing. This macro one knob is assigned to this knob as well. Um, and then you can take it a step further. Uh, I'm going to go out of map mode by just clicking on this button here and you can click on the MIDI map mode, mode up here and then double click on this macro knob and turn a knob on your MIDI keyboard if you want which is what I'm doing right now and then getting out of MIDI map mode and now I can control both of these knobs with just this one knob so the decay time is moving as well as the feedback is moving all at the same time so I'll give you an example of that how it sounds So that's that's the basics of macro knobs. Um, you know, you can go in and really get crazy with them and assign them to multiple uh, values, and um, they're just a lot of fun to to mess around with. And one last thing about macro knobs is you can rename them um, to keep things organized. So you can just right click here, hit rename, and then we'll just call this decay and feedback. And so now we're able to control both of those. So. Uh, this is a very, 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 very simple um, effects chain, but I just wanted to keep things basic for the new people watching this video. Uh, and you can actually um, pretty much just save out your preset at this point. And the way you would want to save that preset is by deleting the analog, um, because I'm thinking that I want to use this audio effect rack maybe on a, an audio channel as well. So we just want the pure audio effects here. So I'm going to delete this analog. Uh, here and then we're gonna click the um, let me bring this up real quick we're gonna click the save button which is now on the top right here so I don't, I don't know why it changed places but we'll save the preset here oh I'm sorry okay that's why that's why I changed places so um, just keep in mind look for this uh, you know this disk icon this is that's always gonna be the save preset in Ableton Live so I'm gonna click on this disk icon and uh, it's now saved it under our audio effect rack. So if we can call this one reverb and delay. And uh, we could even start a new folder here and we'll just right click on right clicking on audio effect rack, create folder, and we'll call this one my effect chains. And then we'll just click on this reverb and delay and just drag it right up here to my effects chains. And uh, you guys can have fun with this. Uh, just get crazy with all the effects. And um, I'll show you a quick example real quick of how I can load this preset now onto an audio track. So I'm going to delete this MIDI track. All the stuff I did is still saved, so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to grab a simple drum loop here on this audio channel. Completely. That one's completely unaffected. And I will go back here into my... Uh, live devices and my effects and I'll drag my newly created uh, rack on here audio effect rack and I'll hit play and I'll bring up the decay and feedback here and uh, that's really it for the uh, audio effects rack just just the basics and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time.